So far, this guy is so easy to pose, it's not even funny, just like the rest of the crew. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo 8, and I'm back with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Today, we're going to be going over the GameStop exclusive gaming greats Star Wars Republic Commando RC1140 Fixer. He is the third in the line. As you can see, I already have Sev and Boss. Uh, they are both on the channel. But so far, to me, in my eye, I think this one looks like the best one out of the batch. I don't know why. Uh, I really enjoy this line. I'm absolutely stoked that they've added it. I know a lot of people think that it is absolutely not accurate. But uh, you know what? I'm all game for repaints when it comes to the clones. I just love them. As you can see in package, he does come with his blaster backpack, just like the others. Uh, almost identical to Boss. But... Let's have a closer look. You can see the Gaming Great sticker up there on the front. On the side, you can see an image of RC1140 Fixer. And on the back, he is number 13 in the Gaming Greats line. It says Star Wars Republic Commando, Star Wars The Black Series, RC Fixer, RC1140. He does come with a short little bio. Feel free to pause and read that. But without further ado, let's open up Fixer and let's take a closer look. Boom! Of course, I couldn't resist putting this three, uh, well, three out of the four so far together on the turntable immediately because I'm really excited about this uh, little line here. I don't know if you want to call it a wave because it's the Gaming Greats wave or Gaming, Ga Gaming Greats line. From being in package to out of the box, I definitely think Fixer is the best out of the bunch so far. I don't know if it's the green, uh, but... I mean, he looks great. I know I didn't really like the gray over on uh, Sev when he first came out. I think overall, these just look absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and put Fixer in some poses on his own and let's take a closer look. But so far, I would definitely say this line is worth it. Here's Fixer in kind of a running and shooting sideways pose. Obviously, these clones pose like absolute beasts. I love the paint work on this one. You'll see on the inner thigh how there's a little bit of like paint wear. Uh, weathering on the shoulder looks awesome. Actually, they all do now that I look at it if you check them out in the back. But so far, this guy is so easy to pose. It's not even funny, just like the rest of the crew. Let's try a few more poses. And here's Fixer looking down the sides of his blaster. Absolutely, again, perfect articulation. The only problem is, is this kneecap that pops to the side, but I showed in another video that these actually do pop off and you can adjust the swivel. Uh, I don't know if they do on this one or not, actually. I'll have to take a closer look. Which clone was it? Yeah, I see. Uh, it was the Walgreens exclusive clone. It looks cool. Look at them, looking down the sights. Absolutely sweet. So you could probably put them in a running and gunning pose just like that. You know what, I mentioned it, so why not just show it off? I think it looks really, really cool. Definitely a great addition. The Gaming Greats line, uh, I'm not all in on it. I have been picking and choosing, especially with the prices the way they are nowadays. But this line, I'm absolutely going to back it with saying I think it's absolutely worth it. I know a lot of people are saying it's cheap repaints. They aren't accurate, but look how cool they are. I think they look really, really cool. And I don't think you'll be disappointed if you pick them up. And of course, here is Fixer in just a regular standing cool pose, which is usually how I have my clones on the shelf looking just like this. But I think he's great. Highly recommended. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I am going to put a few more poses on, so don't take off yet. And if you've enjoyed the video so far, kindly throw a thumbs up on it. It would definitely help out the channel. You guys absolutely rock. And just because he's super fun to pose, here's just one more of him standing with his gun holding up. Another idea for a shelf display. I think he's awesome. The presence screams epic. You know, when I look at my shelf, my eyes will definitely be heading towards these guys. And I really do love that Republic Commando visor that just pops out and screams. It looks super cool. All right, cool. We've had our fun with a few poses. Let's do a size comparison time. As you can see, here he is next to Boss on the left. And we've got Sev on the right. But... Yeah, Fixer fits in really well. We do, like I was saying earlier, I believe we have one more coming. Let's go ahead and move Sev out of the way. And we'll stand him up next to 
an Imperial Stormtrooper. Looks pretty cool. Go ahead and move Boss. And we can put him up next to Grand Moff Tarkin. Go ahead and move him. Quickly see one that I've reviewed on the channel recently. Here he is next to Darth Maul. Go ahead and move our trooper. Another that I've recently reviewed on the channel. Uh, of course, we got to see how he looks with some Jedi, right? So there he is with a Ayla Sakura. Let's go get rid of Maul and put up a couple more Jedi. Here he is next to Kenobi. Looking absolutely groovy. Get rid of Ayla and we'll go ahead and put up Anakin Skywalker looking absolutely groovy. One more time, let's just pull him up close. And oh, you can see the molds of these are all the same, except on this one here, you can see on his head, he's got this piece here, and it doesn't look like that's glued on it. It looks like it's part of the mold. How cool is that? So this could be an all new mold altogether. Uh, the backpack does fall off pretty easy, which is a bit of a bummer, but as soon as it fell off, I'll just show you the detail on here. It looks identical to this one here. Apart from it has the molded handles on there. It's kind of neat how they just don't glue it on there. But you can see, yeah, they are the same. And it's got this little strap on here because he is the fixer, right? The shoulder pads are soft and rubbery. They do uh, swivel, which is great. Uh, I really do like that visor, just the shine. See how that shine reflects on there? It looks totally cool. The back of the helmets all look the same. Uh, of course, yeah, the paintwork is definitely different. You can see the weathering up on the chest. The blaster is the same as Boss's. Lots of chips in the shoulder pads. Articulation is the same on all of these guys, which, like I was saying earlier, just really, really good. Super smooth like a Rubik's Cube. They can work on these legs. Again, I do love that little weather damage on the thigh. And you can see how it's all messily painted up there. Looks all chewed up on his boot. Uh, he's got a little dent here. That's kind of odd. I wonder if the other guys do. Yeah, they all got little dents. Overall, I would say definitely pick up all of these guys. You can usually get these on a deal at GameStop. So definitely highly recommended. Uh, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Check out one of these videos up on the screen. And I will see you guys in the next video.